Okay, uh, today we are on our third day of the trebuchet project, I believe, where we should be building our trebuchets. And or you, at the very least, you should have chosen a design from your alternative designs, and those alternative designs should be in your logbook. And your final design should have a more detailed drawing, just like we did with the bridge, a full scale or uh, at least a bigger scale drawing with more details on how you're going to use specific parts and how you're going to use uh, how you connect things and everything like that. Make sure that you are doing that. Be sure that you realize that the um, the throwing arm of the trebuchet goes under a lot of stress and strain. So you probably searched for trebuchets online as you've done your research. But this throwing arm here needs to be fairly strong. Very similarly. Uh, to the bridges, the bed of the bridges that we made <laughs> needs to be strong. So a good way to build one of those would probably be an I beam once again. We have a golf ball trebuchet. Very similar to our ping pong ball trebuchet. Anyway, um, so hopefully you, you've uh, got this, gotten this to the point where you've got a good drawing of a trebuchet and uh, you should know, for example, things like uh, what kind of mass, you're, how much mass you're going to use and how much you're going to be able to vary the mass, where the pivot's going to be and how much you're going to be able to change that, and your plans for changing that should all be included. And you should have some kind of drawing, some kind of elevated drawing like this where you have a side view and a front view of how this is going to work and some good details there. You have lots of examples here online of all of this. And let's see what else do we have here. I suppose that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, what I'm going to do is if, since we don't really have any any audio playing here. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and just uh, be available in my office for questions. So if you have questions, you can either call me in my office or you can send me an email in my office and I'll answer them there. Give me a thumbs up if that sounds good to you. All right. So if you understand everything you need to do, you're off to do some designing and some finalizing and get started on constructing making plans for construction. On Wednesday we have scheduled the uh, trebuchet verifying section of this where we're going to be uh, testing the prototypes. And so uh, I will give you some time on Wednesday to work on those and to finish those up. But by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest, you should, have, you should send me a video of your test to show me how far you're able to throw a ping pong ball. Your test should not include one throw. It should include at least 20 to 50 throws where you're, where you're changing the parameters. You're going to change the, the relative length of the arm, change the length of the sling, change the angle of the, the hook, change the mass. Um, so you're going to be changing all kinds of things as you do this. And then doing some kind of test, taking data, and maybe even making a graph of your data. Make a graph of the data for different masses, for different arm lengths, for different whatever. And then try to find the best uh, situation for all of those things and then test that. So that is where we're at. So I'll let you guys go. Have fun. If you have any questions, I'll be in my office ready to answer them. And I'll be there for the next 40 minutes or so.